We're the Mitchell Family Reality Show. You're watching Omar Gosh TV. What's going on, guys? I'm here in Brooksville, Florida. We're about to investigate a haunted train depot. They made it into a museum. It dates back to the 1800s. Got my friends, the G-Team Paranormal Investigations. They're here. We're gonna find out if this place is really haunted or not. You're gonna have to excuse, like, the way I'm talking right now because I'm still getting over a cold. So, uh, yeah, might sound kind of funny. All right, so I personally have gotten EVPs out of there, in this room, in that room. Story goes about a dead prostitute. Uh, they say her name is Franny, and I've actually gotten her name on my recorder out in a train car. There was a duel here, I don't know what year, but there was a duel. Train was running late, and some guy needed uh, some goods to be delivered, and uh, when the train got here, him and the conductor had words and uh, they ended up having a duel. They shot and killed each other. So they killed each other? They killed each oh, other. Oh boy. This used to be somewhere else, right? Or was it always here? This was always here. Oh, okay. Yep. And the train used to come through here? Yep. Kind of like in that picture right there? Yep. It's a lot of neat stuff in here. This is uh, our latest artifacts up here. Train. A friend, his father used to build model trains. He would love this. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, wow. It's an old fire engine. Make sure your house went there two or three weeks ago. There we go. Neat. Thanks for showing us out here. This is really cool. So they rebuilt this thing. It says, and it's from 1925. Hey, if you guys see anything in the background of this haunted train station, let me know. I kind of mentioned this in my my ghost like hunting video. There's this there's a lot of history here. Now this place is a museum during the day, so that's why you see a lot of antiques and neat little things here and there. And from what I was told, a lot of people donate stuff to them. That's pretty neat. Wow, look, this is some stuff from the railroad. That's a railroad nail right there, old school one. This is a German helmet from the 1930s. This sort of looks like a Michael Jackson outfit, if you know what I mean. This one, she fell over. Huh? She fell over, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little lady. They got some dolls back there that are a bit creepy. I don't know, old dolls creep me out. I was telling him this is where the well-to-do people waited for the train, and out there is where the not-so-well-to-do people waited. So this was like first class? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ticket book was right here, window. We have our records, a lot of records here. Um, hey, come here. Check this out. I don't know if I'm just getting a spot. You see that right there? Ooh, you got an orb on I it. don't know. I just cleaned the lens. I don't know if it's from the light. I'm moving it. I just checked the lens. Hold on, guys. Oh, dude. No, you do got an orb. Look. Yeah, right there. Boomer's got an orb on his. I don't know. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know if it's part of the camera. I just... I don't know. It's it's not. doesn't show up on mine. No. See that? Maybe that looks like a strong fan. You watched the show. Yeah, maybe. Right? Right. Ghost, of, ghost Adventures? Yeah. That, the, uh, what's his name? Zach. He was a non believer until he spotted a ghost. And now he's a believer, obviously. I was skeptical until I started volunteering at the museum. Stay string house. And once you Which, got a, a picture flying off the wall that, you know, land next to you. That'd make me a believer. Come on, yeah. ghost. Or a door unlatching <laughs> from the inside and opening up. That happened to you? Yeah. Wow. Cool. And that was at the main stringer house? Melissa wants to see a picture fly off the wall. I don't want to see a picture fly off the wall, but I would like to see something. Well, might get your shot today. I don't know, they said it was a funny 
it's just for people documenting it. This is this house right here in in model form, I guess. And check that one out. They actually took pictures of the house. So this really was made for this area and here is the old train station right here. I love that they actually took pictures. Oh, this is right up the street. Oh, that's so cool. What's that? Shout out. Oh, I heard it. Shout out. What is that? Something I got today in EVP. Um, so I went, had to go to the museum, turn the AC down, and uh, had my recorder going, and you know, I said hello in one of the rooms, and I got shut up back. Let me hear. Right, that's just say hello. Shut up. Oh, you can hear it whispering. Yeah. Hello? Doctor's office. Whoa. We're gonna come back in here in a few minutes. I wanna check on the G team and see how. Yeah, I gotta okay. talk to them and let them know I'm leaving. And... All right. They're, they're doing some investigations in here. Now, what's this room right here? This was a cook car. A cook car. A cook okay. Car from Centralia. There, you could actually see some of the the train tracks still. Okay. There you can see more of the track in the front there, Omar. Hey, Marie. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Anything cool going on in here? Yeah, some EVPs. Ooh, you can go with some Boy, it is oh, warm. Yeah. It is, it is what, that room right there is very active. And Which one? Right over there. Is it? A guy named Noah came through. Whoa. So, yes, he did. Noah. Twice. Before I got fixed up. Oh, so you guys fixed it up and rehabbed it. Someone did. I didn't do it. Wow, they did a nice job. Yeah, they did. I just got the chills. You got the chills right now? Why, but there's like a really bad energy in here for me. I don't know. You feel that energy in here? Yeah. Maybe it's just hot as balls. I think it's just oh, maybe could be. I can usually hone in on that too, but I don't know. Maybe everybody's a little more sensitive than others. And Someone takes a picture. Well, of course, you know. But uh, what's so weird is oh, if you wow. look, it's on the wood. Whoa. It's out yeah. of the wood. Looks like a female. Let me see. Turn it this way. Wow. Whoa. Well, it looked like you, you can see the hair and everything. Oh my hair. god. You did that. Yeah, I saw it fall. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my, oh my god. I was just getting ready to turn my camera off. She, no, there? she was over there yeah, and I saw it see fall. Me. I, was over there. I thought she you was were touching over something there. over there. No, she was way over there. Something I was knocked just that looking down. at these things. I thought they were cool. And then that All right. was like shot off. We have to read this, okay? Oh my god. Dude, it would take yeah. a lot. Yeah. I saw it fall when you were over there. Yeah. So I know it wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't you. You see me walk to it. Wow. I was gonna turn my camera off and just see what that, because he was showing them pretty much what I showed you earlier. Oh and <laughs> you could actually hear it on the camera. I thought she was over there and she dropped something and I was gonna help her out. And she was maybe like seven or eight feet away from where this dropped. Okay, there's no way that, uh, that was really insanely freaky. Okay, look, there's no strings over here. No. This is, this is real, okay? Something, some sort of force knocked that over. And yeah, I mean, it would have to take a pretty good force to knock that over. Yeah, that thing's pretty heavy. I think maybe we're not paying this guy enough attention, so let's read up on this. William Ramsey delivered mail from Brooksville to Bayport and brought back 100 pounds of fish to sell each day from 1880 until his death in 1917. So he, he wasn't really even that old, man, when he died. Oh my God, that freaked me out so bad. You guys heard that, okay? I, I'm telling you, I was gonna turn my camera off. Melissa, yo, you just missed something oh. crazy right now. 
and we were just standing there, and he was, he was just talking to us, and the, the little like laminated picture thing with the holder just flew off the shelf. It flew off. We thought it, it was Heather, but she was like 10 feet away. Yeah. Maybe 8 feet away. I saw, because I saw Heather. I, I watched it fall. Oh. Did you knock that off? They were talking when you were uh, saying that. Ask for William. William, are you here with us right now? William, please come over here and talk to us. We won't hurt you. This is what a cotton plant actually looks like. And there's actually like a little, like a little nut inside of it. Kind of like what a grape was like, you know, it has a little seed in it. So yeah, that's, that's cotton right there. It's okay. <coughs> it's okay. Did that say? That was rude. Yeah. That was rude. Yeah. What was rude? What's rude? Was I being rude? I think you touching that stuff over there. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> Thank you for uh, that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Something touching me. I thought it was a bug. Really? Something touched me too out there. Something you felt something touch you? Yeah, right here. I thought it was a bug, but there was no bug. Wow. You don't think it was your shoelace? You know, I thought it, but, but the shoelace is over so here. Like it was touching me here. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to leave my camera here recording for a little bit. Maybe we'll get something if we just leave this room. Okay. Just close the door I'll leave. so you get less noise. Yeah, I'm going to close the door. Okay. Okay. When it comes to spirits and negative energy, they actually feast off of fear. So it's very important not to be fearful. I'm scared. What is it? Tabby. Whoa. Uh, Tabby? I don't know. I'll have to it back. This is what's left of the old school railroad. And yeah, used to just go all that way, man. Oh, that's the original railroad. Super cool. Um, there's actually a park over here. A lot of history here in Brooksville. Oh, man, this place... I, I, you couldn't pay me to go in there. I mean, that just, this just screams like haunted. Dude, I swear somebody just peeked out, out through the window. What if someone lives there? No one lives there. I, I, I mean, maybe somebody does live in there though. Cause I swear somebody just peeked out the window. Dylan was no lie there for like five minutes trying to open that door. It was something like keeping him from coming in. Literally, I tried pulling it and I didn't want to break the door. It, from this angle, it looked like something was holding the door shut. It so did. we thought you were trying to shut the door. No, I was trying to open it. Oh my god. That was weird. Pencils back in 1880? Oh yeah. They did? P 
people maybe living in their town. This is a really nice shape. This is from the 1800s. That is so cool. I don't know, ever since that happened over there, I'm... Yes, that literally scared the crap out of me. Me too. And I saw it happen. Because there's no explanation to it. You know what, this this place really kind of did creep me out. We're gonna go across. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, appreciate you watching this video, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, please let me know if you find something that I may have missed while editing. <laughs>